God places a high value on the freedom of religion. In recent years, there has been an overwhelming and frightening attack on religious liberty and the inherent right to live, speak, and act according to one's personal beliefs. Rather than abide by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which states that Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, Progressive activists have sought to coerce individuals into submission by publicly ridiculing, canceling, and imposing legal restrictions on any Christian who refuses to bow the knee to progressive culture, even if these actions inherently defy Christianity's core values. While there are plenty of philosophical, ethical, and political arguments for the value of religious liberty, None trump the biblical consistency that is assumed by Jesus to be the basis of individual faith, one's right to choose based upon reason and not coercion. As Jesus constantly repeats throughout the Gospels, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. An example that echoes Jesus' high value of choice is the famous story of the rich young ruler. Jesus' encounter with the rich man who expressed his desire to become a disciple is a tragic story of invitation and denial. After being told what he must do to become a follower of Jesus, Luke 18, 23 tells us that the rich man became very sad because he, had extreme, he was extremely rich and he was unwilling to give up his material possessions. Jesus held the most valuable thing anyone could ever offer in his hands, forgiveness and life. And he offered it freely, but the rich young ruler was unwilling to join Jesus's company because of the cost. Tragic as it may be, we discover an important characteristic of God from this story. God places a high value on the freedom of religion, the value of personal choice rather than coercion or force.